Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay. Today, we're going to build our first hovering drone. This little guy, I call him the bug. Now, you may notice that it's pretty compact and simple, and its smiley face isn't necessarily emoticon. As soon as I can afford to upgrade, I will definitely upgrade, though. Well, let's get started. As this thing follows me around, I suppose I should have turned that off. It can be kind of pesky if you're working on other things. First, I'm going to start out by placing regular blocks, and then I'm going to put a merge block. And that way, once we place the merge block, I was off a little bit here. Let me just increase this piston first. I need to have enough room for the piston, so when I drop it back down... It'll line up with the other merge block. If I don't have room to... Oh, what are you doing over there? All right. So, if we put a block here... Yeah, I think that's lined up. That should be right. And go down two blocks, and then we'll put the merge block. You want it to be kind of on the edge of the other merge block when you start, so when you retract, they'll perfectly line up. Yep, looks good. Okay, we just have to wait a minute. I'm not even in the chair. All right, all right, this makes more sense. Let's see if we can have a better viewing angle here. Probably not. I can see the bug just kind of going crazy in the background, but that's about it. Oh, all right. So if I go to the build piston and I lower it by hitting reverse, the two merge blocks should line up. As you can see, though, it shows yellow. But as soon as we disconnect this one block, it should turn green and grab it immediately. Just like that. Now we'll just remove these extra blocks. Don't need them anyways. And I'm going to have to refer back to this one because it's been a little while since I built it. Let's see if it just stays still long enough. I could probably figure out where everything goes. Okay. So we'll start off with our power source. I'm thinking it was maybe one battery, and then the controls after that. Since we're in creative mode, that one battery should supply enough power for everything, but we'll add some more later. The first one was your basic task controller, and this one is your flight controller. Always make sure the F is pointing towards the front. Just like your remote control, you want this nice green dot in the front of it. There, I think that's the length it's supposed to be. Maybe one more. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's see. What do you got on you? Looks like we have a battery, another battery, and then the remote control. All right, we'll take these back off. And we'll throw on more batteries. There's one. Oh, come on here. And I suppose it was two, and then we'll put the remote control on. Let's see. Kind of creepy. Yep, just two batteries, and then your remote control, and then on top is where we're going to put your flight control. F in the front, of course. And your basic controller. You need at least the flight control and the basic controller because individually they do not work. And that should be it for that. Then let's see, the antenna was laying down on the top of this thing. All right. The antenna allows you to use the remote control in order to access the drone remotely. And then we'll throw a battery on the front sides here. And I think it's also on the back. It kind of looks like it has on the back. What, what are you doing? You were just on the other side. What, what's going on here? Get out of the way. Uh, this thing can be awfully frustrating. All right, we'll just try to ignore it and continue on here. So we have two reverse thrusts. 
and then we'll have one lift on each side. And then let's see, how did I put this other block? Because we need the forward thrusters as well. I think I push from the sides. Ah, this darn thing keeps blocking me. Doesn't like a robot to cause interference. All right, all right, all right, watch out now. All right, let's put this. So we're going to go left with this one. And what I like about these flat thrusters is they actually do allow you to propel even though part of them is covered. This allows you to make it very compact. Right thrust. And then another forward thrust. And downward thrust. I think that's all the thrusters we need. Okay. This robot is awfully nosy. I guess that was one of the reasons I called it the bug because it just keeps bugging you the whole time. And one more battery over here. And of course I put a gyro on the back of this thing because there's not really room anywhere else that keeps it symmetrical. And I believe that is it. Ah! Get out of here. Okay. So I think we'll just put the LCD screen on here. I'm using a text panel because the LCD screen itself by nature is a lot bigger than this. To adjust your text panel for the smiley face, we want to select text and images. And then as you scroll down, you'll see your edit text. So what I do is I either put a zero or I put a capital O first, three spaces, another capital O, enter, and these are your brackets, the left and right bracket on here or open and close brackets. And you want them to the left side and it'll make sense once you're done. Then I have two dashes and two underscores and then two dashes. Font size, if you can see through this window, we can kind of crank it up. I think that's about it to fit this text window. Uh, on the other one, I put five, so we're just going to put it at five. And then the important part is your alignment. You'll see the nose take center once we put this to center. And I'm not sure why exactly, but each line seems to center regardless. And maybe change the color so it doesn't quite look like the other guy. Yeah, I think yellow should do it. We'll just adjust it a little bit darker yellow. There we go. And now we have the other bug. Ah, uh, what, what are you doing over here? How'd you end up sideways? AI has become smarter over the years, but I don't think it's quite that smart yet. Well, maybe it'll flip over later. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just practicing its skating. Who knows? All right, looks like we have everything on here. So... Let's disconnect. And then we'll rename. If you go to info tab, grid name, we'll call this say bug two. Oh, I just put buck. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, there we are, bug two and then click okay. And it'll save the name of your ship. Then you can see it if you go to remote access, bug two is available. The other one, I just kept it a small grid. I probably should have renamed that one as well. Your AI basic flight task. It says there's an error, right? Because there's no move task or flight move. So what you need to do is now that we have this thing on, you need to set your AI behavior for your flight move. And you want collision avoidance on, 
and precision mode on if you're in close range. Then my minimum altitude, so it doesn't fly off into the sky, I just simply put it as two meters, align to P gravity. I think that's about it. That's all you really have to adjust. So when you come back to AI basic task, you see the red lettering is gone. Since it's gone, we have something we can do now. We'll put this one on AI behavior. Our following distance is about five meters. You don't want it too close, so you'd be really bugged if it was. And then just click follow me. And now we have two pesky robots trying to catch up with us. They are not very good at maneuvering in short distance, but I think if we take them away from our station, they should do a little bit better. Well, hopefully, there's less things to interact with. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and if you want to check out and try to make your own bug, go ahead and download it from the Steam Workshop. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. What am I going to do with you two?